So in this section, we will make this navigation bar uh, responsive, right? Uh, like this Disney application, right? And we, we will able to see only three menu and then we have the three dot with the multiple one, correct? So back, go back to our application. Here you will see everything, right? So go to the header.jsx and here uh, you have to wrap this uh, particular menu first in a one div. Okay, so wrap this in div and after this one more div. Okay, and then you have to give the flex. Okay, so for this one, you have to give flex so that you will not change anything and also gap of it okay. like this and make sure everything is as it is perfect then uh, copy this one div and paste it below that one okay and once you did it right you will see this you might see two main right here you have to hide it when the screen size is smaller okay and only show this particular uh, navigation when the screen size is uh, medium or larger right if i do like this you will see right so hidden okay sorry yeah and here now this menu is our responsive menu okay so that if you see still showing this name and everything right so go to header item and when the screen size here you can add when the screen size is smaller hide it okay otherwise when screen size is larger then show it okay i will keep it as a block only so it will show if i make the screen size larger right it will show otherwise small but if you see we are also showing this part uh, next uh, the another navigation right so you can add here when the screen size is medium hide it okay and now if you see when the screen size is smaller uh, larger sorry or medium uh, then you will see this navigation otherwise you will see only the icon okay perfect now the next thing you just want the first three icons to be displayed on the screen okay so here you can add the condition first add the index index in the number the 0 1 2 item right so it's keeping track of the number of item you are um, iterating and here you can add index is less than 3 and, and and then show it okay like this now if you go to the disney application you will see this uh, three dots as well so we want to add that one correct so in order to add it right uh, we want to add one more uh, header item here so I just add this header item okay on medium I kept hidden and uh, I'm not passing any value but here right icon is high dot vertical which is I added and imported here okay so make sure you will do that and if I save it now you will see this third icon as well okay and if I did increase the size you will not see anything okay but if I the screen size is smaller you will see this okay so next we will implement this and uh, drop down on menu okay so if you remember in last section we added this header item and we added this hidden uh, the name of the menu right i will remove this one because right now i will put on empty class i don't want anything right we will show this information so in header we have this uh, second menu for the response unit right so here so instead of this item name i will pass the empty value right like this and i will decrease the gap size to 5 okay and if i increase the screen size right you will see like this but on if the screen size is smaller you will see this uh, screen like this right so this is working only thing that we can pass the empty uh, on string correct okay now on the click of this one right we want to show this uh, another the remaining menu correct so here uh, what i will do i will create one div okay here and inside that one let's create one div okay and inside that one i will iterate this menu again okay but in this time i will um, change this condition when index is greater than three so remaining one will be displayed on the screen right and when index is greater than three then only uh, show the menu right and if i save it right you will see this information so in this case i will pass the item name the name of the menu so item dot name right and save it then you will see this both the uh, value correct now it's coming below this one right so first let's make this absolute position okay so i will make absolute and save it right it will look like this now and uh, we will give some margin from the top so let's give three 
okay and let's give background so in this case i will give the custom color background so uh, this hash code i will use okay and save it so you don't see any uh, change actually but uh, let's give some border first border of one pixel okay. and i will give some padding to three okay and uh, what else so and we can give some uh, gap here right so margin from the bottom so go to the header item and here you can mention the margin so just write margin bottom three okay and you'll see like this you see right so let's give two only and uh, it's up to you how you want to display okay then go back to header.js and let's make this uh, border color a uh, little light so border to be gray and i will make it 700 so it will look like this if you go to the disney application right let's remove this one and if you see right you will see this border okay light border so same thing we added here okay also um we can give padding x to 5 okay and uh, padding bottom or y maybe 2 3 3 is already there so it's less 4 okay like this and now it's look good correct so if you see disney we have original movie and series so in this case we have original we don't have original really okay so here light condition to two let's see we get the original as well now okay <laughs> so this is how simple it is right and now on the click of this only we want to show it otherwise we want to hide it correct so we want to add uh, uh, toggle for this one right so define one way um, uh, some value right so in this case we will use the state so this is the react inbuilt hook right to set the variable value so for, for example here i can say toggle where the uh, our value will hold true or false and in order to set the value for the toggle we'll write set toggle okay and this is the use state this is a react inbuilt hook if you see right it will import the that particular hook okay and uh, inside that i will write default value as a false so what it will do right now the toggle value is false but in order to set the toggle value you have to set using the set toggle okay this is the convenient way to understand it and here you can uh, just say okay if the toggle is on for example here uh, if the toggle is true right only show uh, this particular section okay otherwise oh, sorry otherwise show nothing okay oh sorry we want to show it here okay otherwise show nothing now if you see right it don't show anything if i make it true this value as a true it will show the uh, the list of uh, remaining min okay now let's add the on click function for these three dots right so for this one right i will add it here uh, you can add it here item but right now i will add it here okay for your understanding purpose and here what i will do in order to set toggle right, right on the click of this particular uh, three dots i will write the set toggle function and i will just whatever the toggle is there right i will reward the uh, toggle a value so for example if it's true then i will make it false or if it's false i will make it true right and this is the exclamatory mark uh, function which uh, if which i help to set the variable negatively okay and set it now if i click it it will show if i click again again it will hide it right perfect so this is what we wanted and this is what we achieved right and if you see we are getting this underlying as well